Route 66 attractions in the Springfield region. Let's see here. Number one, Williamsville Historical Museum, housed in historic in a historic depot and two authentic railway railway box cars. The museum offers photos and stories on the uh, of the time Route 66 passed through town. Number two, Route 66 rest area. Stop for a picnic at one of the few remaining Route 66 wayside parks and discover the story of rest areas. Number three, Carpenter Park Oil Carpenter Park Old Pavement. Walk on the original Route 66 pavement past the bluffs to the Sangamon River. Number four, Illinois State Police Museum. View vintage cars, uniforms, and other artifacts in, in honor of those who patrolled the original hard roads since 1922. Number five, Lincoln Tomb State Historic Site. Number six, Illinois State Capitol and Illinois State Museum. Number seven, Made Right Sandwich Shop. Grab a tasty sandwich at one of the country's oldest drive-ins dating to 1924. Order the first drive-up window Order at the first drive-up window in America. Number eight, Abraham Lincoln Presidential Library and Museum. Number nine, Lincoln Home National Historic Site. Number ten, Lauderback Giant. Snap a photo with this patriotic muffler man in the parking lot of Lauderback Tire and Auto Service. Number eleven is Route 66 Knights Action Park. Started as a golf driving range along Route 66 in 1930, this has grown into a popular family amusement park. A Route 66 drive-in theater shows movies in season. Okay, number 12, Cozy Dog Drive-In. Enjoy the original hot dog on a stick created by Ed Waldmeyer Jr. in 1946. The classic drive-in is a shrine to all things Route 66. Route 66 Hotel and Conference Center. Originally a classic Holiday Inn along the old highway, the hotel today features a Route 66 theme, mini museum, and filling station bar and grill. Number 14, the Curve Inn. Opened in 1945, the public was served in the main tavern area while special customers could ring a buzzer for the gambling and prostitution parlor on the upper floor. Number 15, road under Lake Springfield. When Lake Springfield filled in 1933, a portion of Route 66 was flooded. Hike on the original pavement to see where it dips below the waves. Number 16, Chatham Road Railroad Museum, built in 1902. Built in a 1902 depot, the museum features displays that interpret the railroad history of the region. Sugar Creek Covered Bridge. Take a short detour off of Route 66 and have a picnic next to this restored 1880s bridge.